Hello, mathematicians. Today's video is going to be about multiplying and dividing with 1 and multiplying with 0. We're going to use plates and our counters to help us think about multiplying with 1, dividing with 1, and multiplying with 0. All right, let's jump in. Let's first think about multiplication division and how it relates to addition and subtraction. So let's say I have five counters and I add zero to my five counters. What do I have? Five counters. Okay, let's say I have five counters and I add one to my five counters. Now do I have six counters? I added one more. Does that work the same when I multiply? No, okay, multiplication is equal groups. When I have equal groups, the same number, I can multiply instead of adding again and again. When division comes around, division is the fair share. If I have six and I'm gonna divide by three, I have three friends, I fair share. I give everyone the same amount. So division is fair share of the same amount. Multiplication is multiplying, having those equal groups of the same amount. Let's think about how this relates to our ones and zeros now, right? So I have one plate, one group with one counter. It's one, right? One group, one counter is one. One group of two is one times two. One times two is two. I have one group of two. Simple enough. One group of five. Okay, one group with five counters. Five, one group of five. Excellent. How about if I have five groups of nothing? I have five groups. Let's make our five groups. Let's see, I got three, four, five groups. Five groups, nothing in each group. Five times zero is zero. I have nothing. Hmm, how about four groups? Four groups is zero. Four groups is zero? Zero, still nothing. Excellent. So I could have my one group of an amount, one group of 10, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one group of 10 makes 10, or I could have uh, seven groups of nothing, of zero makes, well, let's see if I can fit all seven, zero. Okay, let's throw in another curveball. Let's see what we got. How about if I have zero groups of nine? Oh, so I have zero groups. Take away the groups. Zero groups of nine, zero. Uh, zero groups of two. Zero groups of two, zero. Uh, zero groups of eight, still zero. I see a pattern. I multiply by zero, I get zero. I multiply by a number by one, and that number stays the same. Excellent. Let's throw in one more. How about some division? Remember that fair share? So I have a group of two, and I'm gonna fair share with one. Put my two counters in one plate, it's two. Two divided by one is two. Um, how about six? I have six counters, let's see what happens. Six counters, and I put them in one group. Six, yeah, that number stays the same, it's six. Excellent, uh, okay, so let's do a little practice, see how we do. Multiply by one, one times eight, eight. One times six, six. One group of six. One times nine, nine. 
One times four? Four. Great. How about zeros? Think about those zeros. Three times zero. Three groups of zero? Zero. Eight times zero? Zero. Two times zero? Zero. Oh, y'all are getting good at this. Zero times five. That's zero groups of five. Zero. Zero times three? Zero. Zero times seven? Zero. Excellent. And then our last one, our dividing with one. Ten fair share into one group. How many is in that one group? Ten. Three divided by one. How many is in that one group? Three. Five divided by one? Five. One divided by one? One. Nice work, mathematicians. All right, that was our multiplying and dividing with one and multiplying with zero. Keep on practicing.